Over 5,000 supporters were charged just 10 pence per head at New Douglas Park to honour the contributions of Alex Neal and Frankie McAvoy. Four wins on the bounce for Inverness. They haven't done five since December 2007. This is Williams. Tremarco. And a loose one from the left back. Imri now. Andrew. And brought down by Gary Warren. That'll be a free kick to Ackies. A big crowd inside New Douglas Park for the second week running. Garcia Tena looking to curl one, but it's well over the top. He scored spectacularly from a similar position against Dundee United. Martin Canning, who's been given the job on a permanent basis. The player manager now. One cut out, but Redmond challenged by Shinny. Both players are down, but Inverness will continue. Looks like a sore one. It could get worse for Ackies, though. It's Tanzi, saved by McGovern and cleared by Garcia Tena. Well, Graham Shinny's back on his feet. And so too is Redmond. Both players hurt in that collision. But play went on, and Tanzi almost profiting. Ackies have lost their last three games, all under Martin Canning's stewardship. Andre, well, trying to catch Dean Brill out, who is marginally off his line. 13 goals this season, two up in Inverness the last time the team has met. Raven spots Nick Ross up the line. First time ball in from Ross. Canning start, surely for Billy Mackay. What a save that was by Michael McGovern. Well, he's got three against Hamilton this season. He enjoys this fixture. Scored on the opening day of the season here. And you would have put your mortgage on him tucking that one away. Great save, though, by McGovern. Tanzi. To challenge goes in firmly on Redmond who's hurt but play on this is Shinny oh it's ended up in the back of the net an own goal Graham Shinny celebrates it was his shot after Tanzi had battled for the ball Mackay played in Shinny his shot was saved and Grant Gillespie was the unfortunate Aki's player Tanzi, curling one, back post, Meekings. Oh, it's another fantastic save by McGovern. And he's keeping his side in this one. That's a great stop. Meekings to go for power. It's well blocked. Tremarco to Tanzi. Tanzi clips it towards Billy Mackay. And still, Inverness trying to find a way past Michael McGovern. He has been beaten by one of his own players. Inverness were comfortable 2-0 winners against St. Johnson on Tuesday night. Hamilton had a sore one. That Fur Hill 5-0 defeat for them. This is Mackay and Draper. Tees up Nick Ross, and that's the second goal. And that should be enough to claim the three points for Inverness. These two now look to be eight points separated in the table. Inverness joining the title race. Gillespie. Andrew. Crawford now. Towards the back post, out comes Brill, and he lost it. And he seems to have picked up a knock in the process, and a little concern here for John Hughes. And Dean Brill looks in some serious pain here. Fairly innocuous challenge, very little in it from Greg Doherty. And that is not a good sight for Inverness fans.